Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a little get ready with me. I'm just getting ready for the day, but um, I always get asked quite a lot what products I use for my everyday makeup. So this is literally the makeup that I do every day and the products I have been using the past while and been loving. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you just how I do my everyday makeup. And I also asked over on my Instagram to send in some questions and assumptions. So I've answered some of them throughout. So yeah, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy. Also, I know, don't, pointing out to me because I know. Okay, so I had to go and do my eyebrows off camera because they're actually, like, why it's day of all days and I'm having a bad eyebrow day, the day that I want to film my everyday makeup. Like, I had a great eyebrow day yesterday and the day before and the day before that and the day before that, but today, no, 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 no. So eyebrows are done. I just use um, the Perfect um, Indestructi Brow, Brow Soap. I actually have a tutorial on my Instagram, Saved My Highlights, if you, if you really care to see how I do my brows, it's over there. And then I just fill them in with the Be Perfect pencil and dark brown. So I'm just gonna move on to my skin. For my skin, I'm going in with the Shalala Tilbas um, Flawless Filter. You can see this as well. Love it, look at the state of it. And um, this is in shade four. I love this product so much, like 110% worth the hype worth the money i love the glow it adds underneath your foundation even by itself it's so gorgeous on your skin just to give you that little that little oomph and um, it's fab on top of your foundation like it's just a really great product and i'm just going to buff that in with peaches and cream pc 13 i'm just going to buff it in so i just kind of put it on the high points of my face also don't mind that big whopper spot that decided to come up yesterday we're not going to talk about it. Starting off with the first assumption, you are confident. Um, yes, I would say I am confident. It's kind of a newfound confidence over the past year or so, you know, working on myself, self-love and all that. But yeah, I would say I'm a confident person. I'm, I feel like I'm at a point where I'm just very happy and content with who I am. Oh. We love that self-love, girls. Okay, so that is all buffed in. My foundation of choice today is NARS Natural Radiant Longwear in the shade Punjab. You can see this is well loved. Love this foundation so much, it's unreal. Okay, so next question is, are you an only child? I am. Me, my mum and my dad, and then my dog, Mario. Um, so it's just the four of us. And the Okay, so next assumption is you are an introvert. Um, yeah, I would, I would say so. Like, I definitely prefer my own company and being in like small groups of people. Like, I definitely notice I kind of, like, not out of shyness, but like, if I'm surrounded by a big group of people and stuff, like, I definitely do kind of just go into myself a little bit. Um, I just kind of sit back and observe where I'm definitely a lot more comfortable in like one-on-one -on -one with someone or like by myself like I love my own company like so much like probably a little bit too much like I have a great time with me like honestly I would happily spend the rest of my life with me <laughs> like I have good times I've no problem doing things by myself and like no time no problem like spending weeks on end by myself it doesn't bother me at all. I really love my own company. And for concealer, I'm going with the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. I have this concealer ages and I forgot how much I loved it. Um, Cause I was using Tar Shape Tape for a while and I ran out of it the other week and I was like, I was gonna order a new one. And I was like, do you know what? No, I'm gonna use up the products that I have there. Cause I just have so much makeup that I don't use. Um, and I started using this again and I forgot how much I loved it. It's a really, really nice, why isn't it fixing? It's a really nice concealer. Someone asked, how far do you want to go with your career? So I suppose my, with my like social media, um, I would love to just continue growing my platform and like working with brands and stuff, um, working with brands that I love. And I would kind of love for it to get to a point where like this could be my full-time job, like creating content and stuff. Um, 
because I just love doing this so much. So I suppose, yeah, just to kind of continue going in the direction that I'm going at and then like hopefully, you know, it to get to a point where this could be my job. You feel me? Next question, what is your job? So, pre-lockdown life, I work full time for myself. Um, working at home, I do nails and lashes. So yeah, I work full time doing clients. Um, I'm obviously at work now at the moment with lockdown and stuff. But yeah, I've literally, that's only ever been my job. I've never had another um, job. It's always been working for myself and doing nails and lashes. Um, I absolutely love um, doing nails and lashes still and I actually cannot wait to get back to work. But I feel like it's gonna be a few more weeks before I get to, but I should look, at least I have all this to keep me occupied. So going in with my cream contour, this is the Nude Sticks um, Nudies in the shade Deep Maple. I'm not messing, since I've got this product, I haven't, there's not a day I've done my makeup where I haven't used it, I honestly love it so, so much. It's just my, the best cream contour um, I've ever tried. So I'm just gonna apply that into the places that I would cream contour. Hold on, I need to took my hair back. Um, so next up, some uh, assumption is you're really shy before you get to know anyone. I wouldn't say shy, but if I don't know someone, it definitely kind of takes me a, like a little while to kind of, I suppose really be myself around them because I don't know, I'm, I really like, it depends on the vibe, do you know what I mean? Like if, if someone isn't giving me them, them vibes, then like I probably will be a little bit more kind of withholding myself, if that makes sense. Do you get me? Like if, if I'm not, if I don't feel like I can be fully comfortable around someone, then I probably would come off as a little bit quiet. But it just, it just depends on the vibes. It really does, like it depends what sort of situation I'm in and who I'm around. Um, I used to be really, really shy, um, like years ago, like and as, as a kid and stuff, I was shy. Again, once I was comfortable around people, I was fine, like I'd come out my shell, but definitely like, first of all, meeting people, I would have been very shy. Um, I think that really started to change when I started working because obviously with my job, um, doing nails and lashes, like, you know, a big part of that, especially because I work for myself, is like, you know, dealing with clients and stuff. And like, obviously it's not just going to get your nails done. It's about like kind of, the experience and like you know obviously I want clients leaving thinking oh my god like she's so nice like she's so easy to talk to and stuff and I think I knew that when I started my job so I kind of like forced myself to stop being shy around people and kind of force myself to you know be comfortable enough to talk to strangers and stuff because obviously I deal with a lot of strangers like people I've never met before do and clients and I think that's a massive part that like a massive thing that brought me out of my shell was because I was kind of thrown into a situation where I couldn't be shy. Um, but yeah, I definitely used to be. Not so much anymore. Just quiet. Just quiet in certain situations. It just, like I said, depends on the vibe. <laughs> you can just look how nice like that contour blend out. Like it's literally my fave ever. And then I'm going in with the blush as well from Nude Sticks. Look, I need to really clean my products. They're just covered in makeup fingerprints and um, this is the nudies bloom and this is in the shade tiger lily queen <gasps> oh you all need this blush in your life it is so good so it looks very bright here but it's absolutely stunning once it's blended out a little bit on the nose i love that sunburnt look i'm just gonna blend that in with the same brush by the way this is a sosu sf 107 so I'm just gonna buff that in. Look how gorgeous! Like, look at the glow of this blush. Simply stunning. Another assumption: you're quite easygoing and don't fight with your BF or friends. Really? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna apply my highlighter. This is the Glossier Night Shine Highlighter Concentrating Pale Pearl. This is. I feel like this is a product that a lot of people don't know about, and it is so gorgeous um i'm just gonna pop it on the high points of my cheeks 
So I've got on my nose and on my cupid's bow. This is the most beautiful highlight ever. Like, wow, it's so gorgeous. It's cream, it blends in so nicely. Look at that. Gorge, gorge, gorge. So yeah, um, these assumption ones are quite easy going and don't fight with your BF or friends, really. Yes, I I don't know the last time I had a fight with Andy and I don't know like the last time I had a fight with a friend. Probably school. Like <laughs> like me and my best friend, Megan, we never fight. We've not to fight over. Like I think the last time we fell out was literally when we were in Torger in school, which is when we were like 15. Um, great. If I have a problem with someone, I'll say it to them but like me and my friends and even Andy like we're all so easy going that I feel like that's why like not like nothing ever like stems into a fight or anything because it's just it's just not them vibes you know it's just not them vibes and like me and Andy literally never fight um I think so well, though especially like me and Andy like me and my friends like we're just good at like communicating with each other that if like something was annoying one of us but like we just say it and nothing would ever build up to stem into a fight if you get me like we're good at communicating communication skills are key in friendships and relationships i mean you need to be able to talk things out and be comfortable enough to like say shit to each other you know you feel me you feel me ah uh, someone said you're rich i fucking wish i was i fucking wish i was i'm broke as fuck that my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, favourite powder ever. It's so good. Again, another product that I think is just so worth the hype. It's just unreal. It just makes you look flawless. Someone asked a brand you would love to work with. So fashion wise, I've actually been really um, lucky to work with some brands already that I absolutely love, which is so amazing. Like me so that's wild but one brand that i it's just on my goals list to work with is motel rocks if you know me you know how much i love that brand like literally like they can just take all my money i love them so much just there's just such a vibe i have a lot of my clothes are from motel rocks so yeah they are definitely a brand i would love to work with um I just I love their vibe love their vibe I'm just gonna apply a little bit of bronzer this is Kiko bronzer in 06 this is the flawless fusion bronzer I don't really like a whole lot of bronzer just a little bit to kind of set um my creams another question did you like school nope fucking hate it you could not pay me to go back to school, honestly. Like, if someone was like, here's a million euro, go back and do six year again, I would tell them to shove it up their hole. I hate it, school. I honestly hate it. It's a dark time in my life. I just hate it so much. Wasn't a school person, no interest. And especially in, like, my last two years of school, I knew what I wanted to do with my life. And school wasn't going to get me there, so I just found it so hard to want to go in and learn things that I knew weren't going to get me where I wanted to be. And yeah, I hated school so much. I just think you're either a skilled person or you're not, and I most certainly was not. And then I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is the Jordana Tisha Blush in Fruit Bunch. Again, this is another product that since I've gotten, I haven't been able to down i literally use it every day it's such a beautiful um color i definitely want to pick up some more of her blushes because i really like the formula of these um but yeah they're stunning i love blush i love so much blush another question and um, how did you start what was it how did you start building your page so i kind of really started to put effort into my page two years ago um it's when i started to like talk my stories and you know posting makeup looks and stuff and a bit of fashion content because the current Instagram page I have now used to just be my nail and lash page for clients and stuff um, and then I started posting a bit of that but um, yeah I noticed how my page really started to grow when I became consistent with my content so like posting a few times 
um, during the week and you know been active on my story one advice for anyone who is looking to grow their social media would be I know everyone says but consistency is key like you need to be consistent with it and like don't be too hard on yourself like you don't have to post every day but even just a few times a week but I think it's remember that important to remember that consistency is key but quality over quantity like you're rather be posting two or three really good bits of content that you're happy and proud of and um, then throwing up content every day that you're not really happy with but you're just trying to get a post up because I think the quality will shine through rather than the quantity of posts you have if that makes sense um, some other advice would be to engage with your followers so you know like reply to people's messages reply to people's comments you know chat with people and stuff it kind of just helps build your audience a little bit and engage with other pages that are similar to yours so you know if you're a makeup artist like support fellow makeup artists comment on their posts share their posts you know chat to them like it just builds nice relationships in the industry you're in and also like what you put out you give back so if you share the love to someone else like they're more than likely going to share the love back to you tag brands in your posts if you're using oh if you're using their products or wearing them because you never know they might see it and repost you which would then go your page like don't stick to just the one social media outlet as well like i noticed a huge growth on my page when i started posting on tiktok and stuff as well as um instagram because it's just a different audience and a different um, platform for people to come across your page and you know follow your content and yeah more importantly just don't give up with it and try not to focus too much on the numbers and um, at the end of the day they're just numbers if you're posting stuff that you're happy and that you're proud of that's all that really matters and you're doing something you love that's all that really matters everything else will follow along with it so i just done on my other eye yeah i'm shit at wings but i like the look of little wing but i'm just shit at them <laughs> and i just popped on some mascara too this is the lottie london um curl boss mascara i actually quite like it it does the job so i'm gonna go in with my lips so my lip combo today is mac cork liner with honey love lipstick and nyx butter gloss in fortune cookie um so i think the last question i'm gonna answer is what do you take your pictures on and how do you edit them? So I take all of my Instagram pictures on, one second, my iPhone XS Max. Uh, I take all pictures on the car. Hold on, I'm just gonna do my lips and then I'll be back. Okay, so as I was saying, I take all my Instagram pictures on my iPhone XS Max on the back camera and yeah literally just take loads of pictures and then to edit them i use the apps facetune and color tone so facetune i'll use the smoothing tool to like smooth out anything that i don't like in the picture so whether it's like dodgy tan or something on my face that needs to be gone excuse me i'll use that and then i always use the detailing tool on um face tune to like detail like maybe my eyes or if I have any jewellery on and stuff and then for filters I use all the filters on colour tone um, and I add like the grain effect and stuff on colour tone if you want to see I might do um, a little daily vlog of me getting content and shows how I edit my pictures and stuff if anyone's interested let me know so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video and thank you to everyone who sent in some assumptions and questions be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video